different in their innermost essence. Yes. And uh, the point actually, I, I, I should actually correct this because the fact of the matter is that when it comes to the physical, there is no innermost essence. It's sub-existential. It's, it's sort of something midway between being and non-being. Mm -hmm. And so it, it, it has mathematical attributes. The interesting thing is that St. Thomas Aquinas, to my mind, to my knowledge, is the only great philosopher who actually discerned uh, this kind of semi-existence, halfway between being and non-being, mm -hmm. and he called it materia signata quantitate. And to my knowledge, nobody else... Materia, material? Ma materia uh, means matter, but in the ontological sense as the passive recipient of existence. So materia is not what exists, mm -hmm. but it is what forms the material basis of existence. So existence comes into play when you add form to matter. Until you add form, matter has no existence. It's a mere receptivity. Mm -hmm. It's a receptivity to form. Now, what St. Thomas calls uh, materia signata quantitate is something in between materia prima, this ultimate materia which has no existence whatsoever, so it's halfway between materia prima and an actual existence. So what is it that differentiates this in-between from the two extremes of non-existence and existence? Quantity. Quantity. So this was one of the great, great uh, strokes of genius of St. Thomas to conceive of something Heisenberg called, he said, these electrons, there's something midway between being and non-being. And St. Thomas Aquinas had already thought about that. Wow. <laughs> and he came up with this idea of materia signata quantitate. And isn't that a perfect description of the quantum yes. world? Yes, yes, absolutely. Because it is, there are these quantities, but yet there's not the actuality. Yeah, there's no existence, no actuality, as you say, and yet it is something more than mere materia prima. Mm -hmm. And incidentally, I have recently made a study of what frontline physicists have been trying to do for the past 50 years. They've been trying to go beneath the level of electrons, protons, and neutrons to more, more elementary, elementary particles. So they've been trying to move downwards. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, they are sort of getting out of the range of materia signata quantitate, which is a semi-real thing, the sort of thing that makes quantum mechanics thrilling and even permits it to be the basis of our technology. Mm -hmm. So it's a wonderful thing, even though it doesn't, strictly speaking, exist. Mm -hmm. But where these frontline physicists have penetrated in the last 50 years actually takes them beneath the level of honest-to-goodness materia signata quantitate. Mm -hmm.